Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make a green spiral. Well, because they don't always have to be pink and purple. I turned my shirt inside out, and then I decide where I want the center of my spiral to be. You do not have to use this microwave cover, but I absolutely love it because it makes my spirals really nice, and it makes them a lot quicker to make. But you could certainly just use your fingers and twirl a shirt up and still get great results. I prefer to secure my spirals with rubber bands, but you certainly could use kite string if you want. I like to take extra time to really get my spirals nice and tight, so I just work the tails around and tuck them into the nearest rubber band. Using a washable marker, mark out your pattern. Instead of doing a black back like I usually do, I decided to go with a dark green. I chose forest green. You still want to do it the same way though. You want to move quickly. You want to give a nice layer, but you don't want to oversaturate. And then when you're done, you want to flip it back over so that your colors are on the top. That way when it's batching, all that dark green doesn't have a chance to run through your pretty colors. And then just Set it aside and let it batch for 24 hours. It's been 24 hours and now it's time for the rinse out. 
You want to start by using cold water to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the shirt and gradually increase your water up to hot. Rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. From here, I take it to the washing machine and I do a hot water cycle. I do a second hot water cycle using Synthropol and then I do a third hot water cycle using Milsoft and that brings softness back into the shirt after the dyeing process. I also want to just re-mention that I wash many shirts at a time. That's why I do it this way. And then I'm going to put it into the dryer and we'll come back and we'll see our results. Well, here it is guys. Here's our shirt after it's been washed and dried. It turned out great. I don't typically gravitate towards using greens. I use greens when I do rainbows and stuff like that, but just a green shirt on its own, I don't usually do. And I'm actually pleasantly surprised. I think I should make more of them. So what do you guys think of this shirt? Please leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and leave a thumbs up and click the bell for future uploads. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing.